Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kirti, Assistant Professor in Tourism and Airlines. So today's topic is Tourism Carrying Capacity. So before starting with the Tourism Carrying Capacity, let us understand what is Carrying Capacity. With this image, you can clearly understand that there is a pot of water in which over fishes were put inside which not only harm the fishes but also the water splash out from the pot whereas if we put only two to three fishes in that pot it is feasible for the pot and for the fishes to survive and enjoy their life so the carrying capacity is about the same that it refers to the maximum people or the population and the activities that an environment can support without experiencing any negative impact. So the same is connected with the tourism carrying capacity. So tourism carrying capacity is the maximum number of tourists that a destination can accommodate without harming any negative impact or causing negative impact on its environment or sociocultural fabrics as well as on the experience of the tourist. So it is very important to uh, plan and manage sustainable tourism so that it, a balance can be made to develop the tourism also to preserve the natural and conservation assets. Let us consider an example of the beach that is known for its coral reef or the marine biodiversity and the beautiful scenic uh, nature beauty. Okay, If that destination is overcrowded with tourists, what will happen? It causes the environmental degradation, it uh, disturbs the marine life, it disrupts the social cultural life of the local people as well as it destroy the visitors experience so there are so many factors that by which you can check the tourism carrying capacity of a destination what are those factors ecological sensitivity infrastructure capacity cultural resilience visitor management strategies so these are some factors by which you can check the tourism carrying capacity of a destination to better understand the tourism carrying capacity we should know that the types of tourism carrying capacity the carrying capacity can be divided into four types so the, the first type of tourism carrying capacity that physical carrying capacity, carrying capacity, physical capacity. Physical infrastructure and the environment can support without any disruption without any destruction so how can we consider or check the physical uh, carrying capacity so there are several factors that like uh, the availability of the water is it sufficient water available at the destination how the waste has been managed what are the facilities to manage the waste what are the transportation networks how the transport or the connectivity is in the destination so these are some factors by which you can uh, check the tourism carrying capacity physically so second is ecological carrying capacity ecological carrying capacity refers to the maximum number of tourists that a destination or its ecosystem can sustain without any damage or depletion of natural resources means the ecosystem or the ecology of a destination should not be harmed and it can be considered by several factors such as habitat sensitivity the biodiversity levels and any human disturbance caused there so these are the factors by which you can check the ecological carrying capacity the next is social carrying capacity and it is refers to the maximum number of tourists that a destination's local community and culture can tolerate without experiencing any adverse social cultural impact means the community or the local people should not be affected with the flow of tourism as you can see in this picture it is written there that tourism uh, tourists are enjoying but they are disturbing the local people so how can you check the social carrying capacity there are some factors like community attitudes the behavior and the attitude of the communities like how the culture is authentic or not means the authenticity of the culture 
लाइक द कल्चर इज नॉट कमोडिफाइड एज पर द डिमांड ऑफ द टूरिस्ट हाउ द विजिटर एंड द होस्ट आर इंट्रैक्टिंग इज द इंट्रैक्शन इज गुड और नॉट एंड वॉट इज द कोहेजन बिटवीन द सोसाइटी आर दे एक्सेप्टिंग ईच अद सो दीज आर द फैक्टर्स विच कैन बी कंसिडर्ड वाइल चेकिंग द सोशल टूरिज्म carrying capacity the last is economic carrying capacity which refers to the maximum level of tourism development that a destination's economy can support without any negative economic consequences means that if you are developing a tourism destination so the amount that required in developing the destination is sufficiently giving back to the destination or not and what are the factors by which you can check the economic carrying capacity uh, the one factor is revenue distribution that the revenue generated from the tourism is evenly distributed among all its stakeholders or not employment generation means tourism is giving jobs to local people or the other people or not and economic diversification means you are diversifying the economy or not so these are the factors by which you can check the economic carrying capacity so these are the main four types of uh, carrying capacity these are the top 10 countries or the destinations that are most attracted in the world so starting with the first that is thailand it is on 10th rank and it attracts almost 38 million tourist arrival and same is with the germany which is on the 9th rank on 8 we have turkey with the 39 million tourist arrivals and after that we have united kingdom with 40 million tourist arrivals mexico with 45 million tourist arrivals italy with 62 china 63 million tourist usa with 80 million tourist Spain, eighty-three million tourist arrival, and France on the top with eighty-nine million tourist arrival as per data received, two thousand twenty-two. So as you can see that the huge number of uh, tourists are traveling in the world. These are some examples by which you can understand. the consequences of tourism carrying capacity in the first image if you want to travel to some destinations what you see where you want to go is looks like this but this is what you get due to tourist influx over crowd this is how it not only damages the experience of the tourist but but also it destroys the destination's beauty This is another example of Great Wall of China. In the first image, this is what you want and where you want to go. But in the second image, you this is where what you get in return. Like tourist flow is very much. We have to be very responsible while doing the tourism in your destination. We have to take care about these things. But now I will show you some real life examples. of some destinations that have been closed due to over tourism so the first one is maya bay in thailand this is a ko phi phi island which has been gained worldwide popularity due to a movie the beach which is shooted here after that movie this destination or this island is being attracted by millions of tourists which not only degrade the environment of this destination but also uh forced the authority to took the decision to close the destination in order to recover the ecosystem of this destination next we have mount everest base camp in nepal As you know there are so many mountaineers or the mountain lovers and the tourist influx is very high so this camp has been closed temporarily after a deadly traffic jam occurred in 2019 so this is the seven wonder of the world machu picchu in peru and coming down where is peru in which continent so this iconic uh, destination uh, famous for its natural conservation has been closed in 2018 while witnessing so much of crowd and uh, influx of tourists which disturbing or destroying the 
uh, environment of the destination. Authorities earlier took some measures like visitor quotas and time limits. Later on, they have closed the Machu Picchu uh, temporarily. Maybe they will open it soon after the recovery. So another beautiful destination, which is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is known as uh, Angkor Wat in Cambodia, is also faced challenges due to over tourism, which not only damaged the ancient structures, but also forced the authority to take some measures actions. The authorities earlier took some decisions like increasing the ticket price or ask visitors to wear a cap. Later on, they closed the Angkor Wat for the uh, visitors entry. To mitigate the overcrowd, they closed the Angkor Wat. Look at this beautiful Komodo Island which is famous for its Komodo dragons. As you can clearly see in the picture, when they are alone and they are together, the Komodo dragons are very happy. But when they are with the tourists, they feel and they look very sad with their expressions. For this reason, the Komodo island has been closed in 2020. Authority announced to close the Komodo island for one year in order to restore the habitat of the Komodo dragons monitor the Komodo population and to improve the infrastructure of them. With these examples, it is very clear that uh, due to over tourism or the influx of tourists, authorities took the decisions to close the destinations because it is very important to sustain the destination. Otherwise, no tourists will come if, they, if the destination will destroy. So it is our responsibility as a tourist that we should be responsible. So this is all about the tourism carrying capacity and hope you understand the concept of tourism carrying capacity. Now I have one MCQ for you and comment down the correct answer of this MCQ if you keenly listen to the uh, lecture. Thank you.